Hello everyone, welcome back again to OnHow channel. My name is Anas and I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add sticky add to cart button to the Shopify product page. And this works on every team, whatever if you are using down team or sense team or even paid teams. If the paid team support does not give you the option to add the sticky add to cart button on the product page, just follow along with this video and you will be able to add that without any external code or whatsoever. Because I saw some videos on YouTube, they actually sell uh, just a 10 lines of code for 20 bucks and it does not work on every team and there is no option to customize the add to cart button whatsoever however the trick i will show you in this video you can customize it however you want including the buttons the layouts the colors and so on so it's fully customizable and it's completely free you don't have to pay anything and it's really easy as well so without any more talking let's just get to it and again i always mention this in my videos if you are interested in how to add the video banner with the button on it without any apps or anything with your own standalone code and you don't have to pay me for the code as well make sure to check out my channel as well as the order tracking page for the customers so they can track the shipment just from your shopify store they don't have to access third party website whatsoever and again for the variants for the products with pictures on them and effects and so on if you are interested in how to make this make sure to check out my channel i did make a lot of videos so i think they will help you out and what I'm talking about here, for example, if we did access the product right here, it will show me uh, a bar right here, a sticky bar. Even if I scroll down, it will keep showing and the product title will show in there as well and the price and a big add to cart button right here. So if the customer is scrolling down to check out the pictures or description or check out the reviews as well, uh, he will be able to add the, the product to the cart without even scrolling up to the button right here so you can add to cart from here and by the way for the reviews you see five reviews here if i click on them it will take me down reviews with pictures for the exact product if you are interested in how to import uh, reviews from aliexpress directly to the product page with pictures on them as you can see as well as filtering them by the date and the language as well make sure to check out my channel i did make that video as well so without any more talking let's just get to it and show you how to add the sticky add to cart right here and customize it as well so let's just get back to the shopify dashboard right here so the first thing we're going to do is click on app section because we need to install an app and this app is really lightweight you do, it won't affect the loading time if your shopify product page so click on apps right here and after that click on recommended apps and click on shopify app store at the bottom page and it will take you to the shopify app store and after that click on the search bar right here and search for a global sticky car here is it's already showing in here and actually you do not even have to do this just scroll down the description box and you will see a link for the app in here and click on it you don't have actually to access the app store and search for the app and after you did access the link from the description below click on add app right here button and give it a couple of seconds and it will redirect you to the dashboard and click on install app and it will take you to the installation process and in here you should see sticker add to cart action and team integration team integration it will show you all the teams that's installed on your shopify store and you can select which one you want i do have refresh as well as down and the one that's currently installed on my shopify store is the down team and in here the sticky add to cart if you want to enable it on the desktop or the mobile in my case i'm going to keep it on the mobile as well as the desktop and the action in here uh, when the customer clicks on add to cart button if you want to directly take them to the checkout page or the cart page or you do not want to do anything just add it to the cart and keep him at the page however it's better to select go to the checkout page after that just click on save and continue and it will show us the same option because i did select them backwards and save and continue again 
and after that we'll show you some analytics right here uh, it depends on how many people click on the button the, I mean the sticky add to cart button and they just click on install right here button so it will be installed on the team and you should see install team successfully so right now it's actually working on the products page but before we check if it's working or not there is actually some things that you can change in here for example if your Shopify store is using different language because this is not based on the team it will not automatically detect the language and so on you can uh, change the text in here based on the language they are using if not let's just click on save button right here and now let's just get to how to customize it because there is actually different layouts and different designs you can select just like I mentioned in the beginning and to do that click on sticky add to cart button right here on the left menu simply click on it it will take you to this page where you can click for example there is multiple templates in here and you, do you see them right here it's down of the page right here as you can see it's uh, given this example products and the buy button right here which is the sticky add to cart uh, the first template this is the first template let's just go for the second template and here it is as you can see the change right here this one has a little bit of an orange color I don't really like let's just go for the third and this one is actually better even though with the orange color but with the black it suited perfectly and let's just go to the, the fourth template and the fifth which is similar to the first one yeah it's really similar to the first one except for the colors and the sixth and the seventh and my favorite i think it's the third yeah my favorite is the third so let's just keep it the third template and let's just click on save button and in here it will give you the option if you want to enable this as well on the mobile and the desktop and the overall which is the option that you can customize with the at the sticker add to cart and the first one which is the action if you want to take it to the cart or the show just a pop-up or directly to the checkout and let's just keep it the checkout as well as the phone for example you can change the phone for the sticky add to cart and the position where you want it to, at the top of the page right here or at the bottom of the page however it's better at the bottom of the page and in here it says the display condition so when the user scroll down to the product page or it's when the add to cart is not visible on the page when he scrolls down or it's always showing so let's just click on always show let's just select always show in this way wherever the customer access the product page it will automatically start showing the sticky add to cart at the bottom of the page the customer doesn't need to scroll down in order to be shown and in here you will see the the height of the sticky add to cart you can make it bigger or smaller however i do think this is the perfect size for it and the background color for the sticky add to cart which is white in here and the two colors for this particular design which is orange as i said i don't like orange so let's just go for something that's blue a little bit lighter blue just like this and the title for the product let's just go for bold in here and let's just click on save button uh, i did change the color i'm not sure why click on overall again oh this is the price color i did mistake this for the this is actually the price color and uh, let's just throw the price color let's just uh, do green just like this and let's just click on save uh, this does not look good actually let's just keep it as blue yeah let's just click on save this is much better and after that let's just check out buy now button so click on buy now button and in here we can change the color for the buy now button however i will keep it like this and do it and so on even the text if you want to change this uh, buy now title or if it's sold out it will show here sold out and so on so let's just save the things that we did select in here after that let's just click on pop-up this is actually if you did select the option for the pop-up and we did not do that we did access the option to directly redirect the customer to the checkout page and below it the sticky add to cart the sticky cart which is only has one template and it's fine though because it doesn't show up even and right now let's just get back to the product page to see if the, all the things that we did right now is actually working or not so let's just access the product page which is this one right here and by the way if you're interested in how to add a video automatically play a video uh, it's actually a loop without having a controls whatsoever it doesn't look even like a video make sure to check out my channel i did show how to add this to the product page so let's just scroll up and reload the page and here it is as you can see here is it showing at the bottom of the page and the variance from here which is the first one is white it does 
show white in here i can click on it and change the variance from here and i do have discount from here i'm not sure why it's not showing i did add discount in a video actually if you are interested in how to add discount like this make sure to check out my channel and it does show in here however not on the product page i'm not sure why but for now that's how you add sticky add to cart button on shopify product page without buying any code and without having to use an external code on your shopify store and if you have any issues with this or have any video requests or any questions make sure to drop them below in the comment because as i said in the beginning of the video i'm working for you otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you in the next one